Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer and uh, in this tutorial we're going to be talking about the if-else statement. Now you may have already seen this video, well, it's not the exact same one but I had one up earlier but the resolution was all messed up and um, now that I'm a, a partner on YouTube I want to keep my content um, high quality uh, so that um, you guys get the best of what I can make. Now, um, in the last video, I made an update. I pretty much filled you guys in with uh, some of the information about why I've been gone and that I just uh, got uh, notified on YouTube that I am now a partner. So that has been a big motivation for me to make uh, new videos. I'm going to start putting them out more. And um, if I can do that and make YouTube my job uh, during the school year um, and have a steady income for that uh, throughout the year, I won't have to get another job and I'll be able to continue making uh, more and more tutorials. So before we get started, uh, I just wanted to ask you guys uh, if you could do something for me. Now I'm not the best with Photoshop or GIMP or whatever other photo editors there are, but um, I would really like it if one of my subscribers could make me a simple banner for my profile. I'll give you full credit in one of my upcoming videos and put your uh, channel in the link of the description. And I'll put your channel on my uh, uh, the link to your channel on my channel, saying that you made this banner for me. Um, so basically, what I need is a channel banner that is 960 pixels by 150 pixels, or a channel side column which is the small one that is 300 pixels by 250 pixels. So if any of you guys um, want to make one of those for me, go ahead and PM me. Um, I'll let you know what I want in it, and then. Sorry about that, I got uh, distracted there, but basically we can get something worked out if you PM me. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to the tutorial. Now just go ahead and make a new project, call it whatever you want, just make sure it's a console application and open up your uh, main method. So here is our static void main, and let's go ahead and prompt the user to tell us their name. So we'll just type console.writeLine and inside of our arguments, we'll type, what is your name? Okay, so now that we've asked them for their name, let's go ahead and create a variable and set it equal to their name. So we'll type string, and make sure this is a lowercase s. Um, you can see that it is going to be a darker blue um, than the previous string, because when we use this string, it's telling us that we're creating a variable. And if we use the capital S in the string, that's basically saying we're using an object of the string class, um, which you guys probably don't know what that is right now, um, but later on we'll go into objects and stuff. So just make sure that when you're using a variable, use a lowercase s. And so we'll call it name, and we'll set it equal to console.readLine. So whatever they type in, it's going to be stored as name. So let's go ahead and create a simple if statement. So if name, and now what we want to do is we want to take name, and we're just going to add a little dot right here. Now this is saying we're going to call um, a function that can be run on a string. So we're going to call the to lower. So name dot to lower. And you can see it says return to copy of this string converted to lowercase. So it's going to take name and let's say I type uh, Sam with a capital S. It's going to take that and convert that all to lowercase. So it's going to be lowercase Sam. So we'll just type name dot to lower and we'll just put Sam and we'll add our brackets. So by doing this, we need to also add equals equals because we're comparing two string values and not assigning it. So name dot to lower uh, equals equals sam. So by doing this, this keeps us from having to make several if statements such as um, doing that right there or that right there. The person who types it in can have whatever case they like and it won't be case sensitive to their the username if you want to call it that. So um, if um, the name that they typed in is Sam, then we'll just say console.writeLine welcome you have root permissions. So let's say the user logged onto a system um, and the user was Sam, it gives them root permissions. Now, if it's somebody else, so we'll just do else if. So, else if name dot to lower 
equals equals and we'll just do Rick so basically what this else if statement is saying is that if this right here is not run so if name dot to lower is not equal to Sam this is going to go ahead and move on to this else if now if this is equal to Sam it's going to skip over this else if statement and it's not going to even look at it so the purpose of else if is let's say um, if we if the username was equal to Sam uh, and we had another if statement right here instead of an else if it would still look at this if statement to see if that value is true now by using an else statement an else if statement um, we can say if this is already true then we don't even need this and we're going to skip over it so if the name is Rick then we're going to do console dot right line welcome you um, have let's just say limited permissions so if you log on or as Rick then you get limited permissions now let's go ahead and create an else statement now you can see here that I didn't use any uh, parentheses on the else statement that's because an else is a generic statement so if um, name is equal to anything else other than Sam or Rick it can be equal to whatever you want um, it's gonna run this code so this is basically a default so if nothing is true on these el if or else if or else um, then it's gonna go ahead and run this code so we'll just type console dot right line and we'll say um, who are you access deny okay so if they type anything else other than uh, Sam or Rick then it's gonna deny them access now you can have as many else if statements as you want so I can add uh, another else if right here um, put whatever I want in those parentheses and the program will still work fine just remember that if you have an if statement you can have as many else ifs as you want but you can only have one else and you can't have you can have uh, a bunch of ifs but each one of those will be its own. So if you have an if and then else if, if you create a new if after that, um, the else if after that's going to be with a new if. Now that might be a little confusing, but you'll realize what I'm saying once you start using these and practicing with them. So I'll go ahead and delete that right there. And at the end, we'll just do console dot read line so we can see the actual output of the program. So we'll go ahead and run this. And if I type Sam, it says you have root permissions. And you can see there that it compared it to lower, all lowercase sam and it, it works because um, it converted that string to lowercase before. Now, let's see here, visual C sharp. Okay, now we will type Rick. See it says you have limited permissions. And now if we type anything else, it says who are you access is denied. So go ahead, create some uh, if statements and else ifs practice with those and once you get good at those go ahead and move on to the next tutorial